Well, here I am in the wind again. Hope you guys can hear me. Hey, I'm gonna do a little video of my little solar security system I built. A little 20 watt panel, a couple of inexpensive cameras from Amazon, 20 foot hours a piece. They're self contained, so as long as they can see a Wi Fi signal, they use program, but they attach to it. So all they need is 5 volts of power. Had the system running now for about I don't know, four or five days. I uh, all it's got in it's a tractor battery. It should be, it's not a deep cycle. Let me take some screws out here. I wish this camera would pause. I don't really want to have to stop and edit the video and all that. Well, I'm going to have to do that anyway. anyway. Put the charge controller in a nice watertight box. <clears throat> See where we're at. Okay, 12.6. That ain't bad for figuring it was rain like mad yesterday, big time. So they got some sun, but not a lot. These cameras only pull a lot of piece. I imagine the charge controller pulls more than the camera does. Okay. Little $10 charge controller I got off eBay. Gives me two 5 volt outputs. Each one feeds a camera. So I'll see it at night and daytime. The only problem I got is this one's facing the west, so it, when the sun's going down, it it almost blinds it. <laughs> I built that, painted it, and then realized I needed enough over my my uh, antenna wanted to hit it, so I had to pull a little quickie out to give it a real paint job. This is this mount is just from a satellite dish dish network had thrown away off my cabin. I bought a couple of L pieces for aluminum, made them. Kind of like I sold a copy of the mounts I bought for my big panels. I don't think that's going anywhere. It's strong enough that if I had to, I could put a bigger panel. I wasn't sure 20 watts would be enough. So far, so good. I owned it once before, and the battery's at 12.7. But like I say, you can see the clouds we got. So it's not getting much today. It didn't get any all night last night. And it was... Uh, been kind of nasty all day. Now yesterday it rained, but there was some sun, so so it's probably went a day anyway without any great um, charging. So, let's see. We'll take apart the battery box. I made this battery box. I wanted to keep as much water off it as possible. A little water won't hurt anything, but it's not totally air sealed because I wanted it to vent a little bit. Of course, with 20 watts of charging, you're not going to have a big gas problem. But, let's see. This is just in case Troy ever watches my video, because I have been hammering that poor man about some fuses, which I'll bet you money he has never put on yet. But, fuse right at the battery. That's where you want your fuses. As close to the battery as you can get them. You want your fuse close to the battery. Why these solar guys, they'll set up a beautiful setup, and they'll put all their fuses right underneath their charge controller and run a six or eight foot wire from the battery to it. Well, that's saying, oh, we're never going to have a, a short circuit. Between that, we couldn't have something bite the cable? That's crazy. There we are, right there. Here's my little thing. I'm going to build one of these for the woods, too, I think. See, it ain't fancy. I just use, I bought these on Amazon, and they're uh, UV resistant, waterproof. I taped the hell out of that connection. Hopefully it'll last. If it don't, I'll cut that off, solder it, and seal it up like I do with some of my ham radio stuff. I didn't want to put that on right away. It's made for antennas, and once it's gooey, and once you seal it with that, it ain't coming off. I mean, it, and I didn't know if I'd have to work on it or not. I know that's really light wire, huh? Not you resistant. So I think I had small enough, can you even see it? It would fit in that little tiny connector and come out the spaces it was made for. I'd never used such a small panel before. Maybe I should have bought a bigger one, but I was just playing. I don't know, can you see the data on there? I'm covering most of it up. Pause that if you can read it. But, 
I think it's going to work. I know my wife likes to be able to see the front of the house. I'll show you some. When I get back in the barn, I'll show you what it works. Now, it works with uh, the, um, the app they have, which I mean, the app's all free. It doesn't cost anything. You just buy the cameras. Um, the app leaves a little bit to be desired, I'll be honest with you. I have yet to be able to find where it saves the damn pictures. Of course, they're working on it. Now, what I do is just take a picture of it with my camera if I want to. Because I got two of these cameras. I bought them in a set for a hundred bucks. Two of them I put out back. And that solar shed I had out there that really wasn't using it anymore. I mean, other than we go back there and work now and then. But... So it had power. Now, of course, that one back there never runs out of power. because It's got 200 watts of panels on it. Plus two big deep cycle batteries. So... I've never ran those back. Well, I wouldn't run them down past half anyway, because that's a dumb. You never run a battery past half or you're, you're damaging it if it's deep cycle. But uh, I've never had them. About 12, 3 is as low as I'll take a battery down. <laughs> just lost my screws. Well, I'm going to have to pause this because I think I just, well, I'll find it. There's a screw I just dropped. Okay, here's our part two. What I usually do with my big TV, I just keep them. My big TV is also a computer monitor, so I just have them split two different uh, web pages. And see? See the front of the house? See the flag waving? There's the back heading towards my barn. Just keep an eye on it for any kind of deliveries or people or whatever. I don't know. What my wife likes. My wife likes her. She can tell who's out back with me shooting. And, uh,. I like to keep an eye on the front of the house. They also have a great app that works on your phone, but I'm using my phone to make the video, so that doesn't really work. So, they're nice cameras. I'll try to find the link for them on Amazon put them in the description. Okay. I hope that helps somebody. But what I did this for is I know you can plug. They come with power supplies. You can plug them in 110, no problem. I didn't want to break up my asphalt to run wires underneath. I didn't want to go through all that. In fact, I didn't have any power out front of the house at all. And I bought another set, and Pam and I have been thinking about it for a year. We couldn't decide where we wanted to drill holes in the siding. We just didn't want to. So this way it allowed us to keep an eye on the front of the house without putting any holes in the siding and all that stuff, okay? And these things are pretty easy. I got about 100, maybe 110 bucks into building the thing. And you could plunk them anywhere where you got your Wi-Fi. I've got a Wi-Fi. <clears throat> Up in the air, so I cover Wi-Fi everywhere. I want to put one way back in the back of my woods if it'll work. And I might throw a couple up at my cabin. They're just nice, you know. Self-contained units. So, hope this helps somebody. Thank you.